Last year's statistics from the Ministry of Health and Welfare were disheartening, revealing 12,000 child abuse cases and indicating a troubling national trend. According to a Child Welfare League survey, an alarming 90% of respondents have seen parents disciplining children verbally or physically in public, with such incidents reported monthly by 17%. This sheds light on a pervasive problem. Despite widespread observation, intervention rates are low. Only 30% of witnesses act, while 60% hesitate, weighing the merits of getting involved. This hesitancy signals a gap in public understanding of handling child abuse situations. Further, the study found that 54% of these cases occur in public places like malls and supermarkets, and 40% even along roads in daylight, revealing that most child discipline issues are publicly visible. To respond empathetically, experts suggest gestures like hugs or shoulder pats. However, in crowded situations, intervention can be counterproductive, causing parental defensiveness. Although there has been a decrease in corporal punishment, Bai Li Fang, CEO of the Child Welfare League Foundation, points out that harsh attitudes toward children still persist in Taiwanese society. She warns of the detrimental effects of public scolding on children's self-esteem and parent-child bonds, advocating for enhanced parenting education. If a child's safety is at risk, it's vital to intervene or seek professional help immediately. In essence, children are the pillars of society, and their protection is key to nurturing future generations. This is Huang Chi Ho for TVBS World Taiwan.